and this region, uh, I, I would hate to think what it, as Sean was saying, what it would really be like if Christian International had pioneered the Spirit of God coming in here in the way he did. I can look back and remember when it was so much poverty down here that the only place you could go eat was Applebee's, I think, had just been built. I mean, there was nothing down here, nothing whatsoever. You, uh, w we drive from here back to Destin, and it's, it was nothing. And all of a sudden, we started warring. And I think about the third year, Jane was telling me, that we had been watching and warring. All of a sudden, God came down, gave you revelation, and the whole thing broke open here. Went from poverty to being the number one county of prosperity in Florida. Now, that is what, we, that is one of the greatest signs that you can be looking for. Now, what I want to do tonight is bring us up to date, and it's going to, Dean, it's going to be interesting because you almost sang everything the Lord's saying tonight for all of us. And uh, it, it's, uh, it's amazing the time we're living in. Uh, I was loving that song about how we'll run with the horsemen. Uh, but actually, the next phase of warfare, see, if you can't make it with the horsemen, you're never going to make it with the lions that are in the jungle next to the Jordan. That's what the Word of God says. In other words, you're never going to be able to cross over into your promise if you can't get past the horses because there's always lions roaming. And we're coming into a season where we're going to be louder and stronger than that roaring lion who roars around waiting to devour us. And see, we're living in a warfare season. So, uh, Aaron, if you'll help us back there. And this year is about the war for divine recovery. In other words, how will you get to that place that you're assured you have recovered? Remember the Lord told David, uh, pursue. Inquired, David inquired of the Lord, and he said, pursue, go forth, overtake, and then recover all. Well, that's sort of what this year is about that we're living in. In this divine year, uh, Hebraically, that's what it looks like. But it means more than that. It means that this year we have to open up some new supply routes. In other words, new supply has to start flowing to us. Somebody throw their hand up and say, I'm ready to get that. I'm telling him. Now, so one of the things I've been doing all year uh, since uh, September of last year, because we always celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles, is looking at the relationship of the warfare over di divine recovery and the supply routes that are coming. Now, with that, we have to always remember that this whole season of pay, these 10 years that we're living in, that started in September of uh, 2019, and then, of course, the pandemic that was so interesting for all of us came in March of 2020. This whole 10 years is a year is a season of warfare and i wrote a book called passover prophecies because every year we're having to pass over and you've got to think the way passover really was in other words god was trying to get us out and get us to a new place and to do that they were having to war the 10 ruling forces that was holding his covenant plan captive. So every year it's like that. But this year is a year of kingdom war. Now, that is different than a year of warfare in the church. It means kingdoms are being rearranged. 
Nations are being determined in a new way, just like ours. And what the Lord looks for is us. Put your hand on somebody and, say, and tell them, I think he's talking about you. Because he said, the least in the kingdom will be greater than the one who paved the way, John the Baptist, for the kingdom to come. Now think about that. John the Baptist, no, no one was known better in the whole region. They lived in Israel. I've been in Israel, when we can go back 35, 40 years in Israel. And nobody paved the way like John the Baptist. He, when he met Yeshua in the womb, he left. And yet, he had a wineskin and a baptism that was of one dimension, and he kept saying a new baptism was coming. And a new wine skin was coming. And then after he kept, because John had a simple message, just repent you snake. It wasn't a, some big deep message. And people would grab hold of it. And they would go out there. Well, when Jesus went out to get baptized, John said, looked at him and said, you don't even fit this message. I know who you are. And yet, the Lord himself said, unless I get baptized into your wineskin and the baptism you're carrying, I can't activate the one that's coming. Well, see, every season there's a time like that where all of a sudden you're at that moment where something has to happen. And remember when Yeshua got baptized, he came up, and as he came up, the heavens opened. We sang about it tonight. Cause the heavens to open. Cause the Lord to speak. 